Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the best budget studio condenser microphones that you can get for under $100 in 2021. So before we jump into things, if you're someone that's interested in home studio gear or home studio equipment, or you wanna set up your very first home studio, this channel is for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, the links of all the microphones that we're gonna be going through in today's video will be down in the description below. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way till the end so you don't miss the sound test comparison between each microphone. But without any further ado, you. Let's get into this video and have a look at each of these microphones and see what they're all about. The first microphone that we're gonna have a look at is the AKG P120, which is one of the best looking studio condenser microphones on a budget. Costing around $80, this microphone comes in a sleek matte black finish with a microphone stand connector that is super simple to set up. In terms of build quality, this microphone comes in a metal casing that feels solid and extremely durable. For more sound pickup options, the P120 comes with a roll of an attenuation switch, which is a great addition for the price. The next microphone that we're gonna have a look at is the SE Electronics X1A, which is one of my favorite budget condenser microphones. Costing around $100, this microphone comes in a matte black finish with a stand connector that is also very easy to set up. In terms of build quality, the SEX1A comes in a metal casing and plastic grille that feels solid enough to last quite a while. This microphone also comes with a roll of an attenuation switch, which is always a great addition. The next microphone that we're gonna have a look at is the Samson C01, which is one condenser microphone you can't turn your back on. Costing around $80, this microphone comes in a silver styled look finished off with a blue LED light when set up and connected. In terms of build quality, the C01 has a metal casing that's so durable, it feels almost unbreakable. The C01 also comes with its own carry case for protective on the go travel. For $80, you can't go wrong with a Samson C01. The next microphone that we're gonna have a look at is the MXL770, which is an Amazon favorite when it comes to budget condenser microphones. Costing around $80, this microphone comes in a matte black finish with a gold touch, helping it stand out from the rest. In terms of build quality, the MXL770 feels durable, coming in a solid metal casing. For more sound pickup options, it comes with a roll off and attenuation switch, which is always a great addition for the price. The 770 also comes with its own carry case for protective on the go travel. And the last microphone that we're gonna have a look at is the Audio Technica AT2020, which is one microphone you can always rely on to get the job done. Costing around $100, this microphone comes in a matte black finish with a protective carry bag for on-the-go travel. In terms of build quality, the AT2020 is designed with a metal bodied casing which makes this microphone super solid and durable. And yes, as you can see, mine has already been through quite a lot. So now that we've gone through each microphone and we've had a look at the overall build quality and the features, it's time to move on to the final step, which is the most important when picking a microphone for your studio setup, and that is the sound test. So I now have the AKG P120 set up and ready to go. And this is kind of what it sounds like. I have it connected to my microphone stand with a pop filter placed four inches away from the microphone. I now have the SE Electronics X1A set up and ready to go. And this is kind of what it sounds like. I now have the Samson C01 set up and ready to go. And this is kind of what it sounds like. I now have the MXL770 condenser microphone set up and ready to go, and this is kind of what it sounds like. I now have the Audio Technica AT2020 set up and ready to go, and this is kind of what it sounds like. White lips, power face. 
Breathing in the snowflakes, burnt lungs, sour taste. Lights gone, days end, struggling to pay rent. Lone eyes, strange men. Cause they say she's in the class A team, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but lately our face seems slowly sinking, wasted, crumbling like pastries as they scream. The worst things seen alive come free to us, cause she's just under the upper hand, going mad for a couple grams. She don't wanna go outside tonight. And in a pipe, she flies to her motherland and sells love to another man. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. For angels to fly. No. So now that we've gone through each microphone and we've had a look at the build quality, the features and the overall sound quality, it's time to move on to my final overview. And I must say microphones under $100, you guys are sounding really, really good. I think for a lot of you out there on a budget, there are some great options that you can really get some great vocals with. But as always, there is a favorite and there is a microphone that's the best out of these for me. And that has to be the Audio-Technica AT2020. I think this microphone sounds the best for vocals. It is the most popular condenser microphone under $100. And if you don't have $100 for this microphone, my second option for vocals will have to be the AKG P120, which costs around 80 bucks, which is just as amazing in terms of sound quality. So some really great options. And then the SE Electronics X1A is also kind of a new favorite of mine for under $800. It's not the most popular, but it is made by a really well-known microphone company, SE Electronics. So you are getting quality there. The microphone does sound very clean. It has a little bit more lower end than these other microphones, but it's not as clear. So it kind of balances out there, but overall a great sounding microphone for a hundred bucks. And then last but not least, the Samson C01 and the MXL 770. Both of these microphones sound really amazing, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Samson C01's look and design. On the other hand, with the MXL770, I really think it looks great. I love the fat, short-shaped body. But where this microphone doesn't really do it for me yet is in terms of reputation. I know AC Electronics, I know AKG, I know Samson, I know Audio-Technica. These are very popular music production companies and even microphone manufacturers. But so far, I have to say the MXL770 is fantastic. So that brings this video to an end of the best budget studio condenser microphones that you can get for under $800 in 2021. Just a reminder that the links of all these microphones are down in the description below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.